Peggy 16. Hey, what's up? I'm Brian Hayes, one of the producers on Fight Night Champion. I'm here today with a quick defensive tutorial to help you out once you step inside that ring. Reflexive blocking is a new blocking system for Fight Night Champion. There are two types of reflexes involved, yours and your boxers. Your reflexes are involved if you want to anticipate or react to your opponent's attack and press block. If you're quick enough, you will block the punch and create a counterpunch opportunity. Your boxer's reflexes come into play if you want to cover up. Each boxer's reflexes and block strength rating determines their proficiency at reacting to incoming punches. The longer you cover up, the more your block strength and reflexes will decay, meaning that punches will more frequently penetrate your guard. Also, movement speed is slightly slower if you're covering up. In both cases, there's no need to choose a blocking direction. If you or your boxer's reflexes are up to the task, your boxer will move their arms to the right spot. This allows you to throw punches while holding down the block button, making the transition from defense to offense a little quicker. Head movement allows you to slip, duck, and avoid incoming punches. To move your head, hold down the lean modifier and use the left stick. Holding down the lean modifier will plant your boxer's feet, so you can't move around the ring and move your head at the same time. Making your opponent miss by moving your head out of the way of an incoming punch will create a counterpunch opportunity. Moving your feet is just as important as moving your head and your hands. To perform a weave, move the left stick in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction towards your opponent. Your boxer will step forward and move their head from side to side. Weaves allow you to close the distance to your opponent and avoid incoming fire. Quick steps forward, backward, and to either side can be performed by flicking the left stick in those directions. Stepping to the sides can be particularly effective in avoiding punches, but keeping you in striking range for a counterattack. Clinching can be used to tie your opponent up and prevent them from throwing punches. To clinch, press the push and heavy punch modifier buttons at the same time. Timing is essential to successfully clinching. If your opponent is in the midst of punching, a clinch attempt will fail. Pushing can be used to get separation between you and your opponent or to break out of a clinch if your opponent has grabbed you. To push, press the push button. After all is said and done, one good punch can still put you on the canvas. If you haven't been knocked out, you'll be in the get-up game. To start getting up, push to the left or right on the left stick to orient your boxer's perspective. Once you've centered your vision, push and hold up on the right stick to stand up. The more times you've been knocked down, the tougher it gets to center your perspective and keep your balance once you're there. Don't rush it if you've been on the canvas more than once. I hope you enjoyed this defensive tutorial. Remember, keep your hands up and your head moving in Fight Night Champion.